In a little 2016 news, Rand Paul, senator of, from Kentucky, met today with his strategist at a hotel in Washington, D.C., right near the Capitol, to talk about a possible run for the White House and review the midterms. Paul hasn't formally announced anything about 2016, but he is keeping up his steady stream of attacks on the person who would most likely be his opponent should he become the Republican nominee, that is, Hillary Clinton. In an interview with Politico, he alluded to her age. He said, I think all the polls show that if she does run, she'll win the Democratic nomination. But I don't think it's for certain. It's a very taxing undertaking to go through. It's a rigorous physical ordeal, I think, to be able to campaign for the presidency. You know, when I talked to Rand Paul up in New Hampshire and I asked him about running, he said the physical strain was something that he was aware of his father ran. My question is, this is not the first time he's attacked Hillary Clinton. Does he pay a price with anybody, with the electorate in any way or, or the media or anybody for these continual attacks, or is it just a free shot at the pinata? Well, look, I've, A, I think, it, yes, it's a free shot at the pinata. Here's why. It, she, he is, it's not, the, not only it's not the first time, as you said, it's been continual. He has gone after the Clintons on everything from uh, when Monica. When I said not the first time, I was using ironic But You know what I mean. It's like not, from Monica Lewinsky to Benghazi to everything, foreign policy, domestic policy, personal stuff, he's been on them on everything. And, you know, we've talked about this many times before. What a lot of the Republican Party, from the grassroots to the establishment, are looking for in different ways is the person who can beat her, and not just beat her, but someone who will stand up to her. That, that looks like you could get in the ring with her and really be able to be a credible opponent. And He's, and this is, this is, this is. It's going to be like four years ago when the Republicans competed, not to fight with each other in the right. debates, but to attack Barack Obama. Right. I think he's gained advantage this year by going after her. The danger for any Democrat, Republican, though, who attacks Hillary Clinton is she has always had an eloquent defender in her corner. That's a man who knows his way around the MENA airport, a guy who's clever, funny, and when necessary, open to extreme measures. Here is that defender of Hillary Clinton with Ellen DeGeneres, ostensibly talking about some hit TV shows, but in fact, his real message, unmistakable. The thing about Scandal and House of Cards that makes it fun to watch is that I can't imagine that either a president, Spacey, or the president's chief of staff on how, I mean, on scandal, could really get away with murder. I wish I'd known about that <laughs> in the office. I mean, they were, you know, think of all the opportunities so I knew. So many people get rid of. So little time, so oh. many people that have it coming. It's so just, easy. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. The hand gestures, and we, we could do the whole show on that. Yes. But, but my question is, you know, Rand Paul takes shots at Hillary Clinton. The Clintons don't really respond. Yeah. Even even her spokespeople stay quiet. If Bill Clinton gets angry at some of these Republicans for going after her, what happens then? Well, he the thing he does so well is he eviscerates people with a smile on his face, with humor, with wit. That was very funny. And the Mina Airport joke, of course, that'll be some Republicans, some on the far right, will look at that and say we were right all along. He actually was responsible for murder and cocaine dealing at the same time. Got to do what you got to do. <laughs> Okay.